Hey, hey, welcome back. Yeah, we're getting a little uh, battle on here, but this is a battle for a good cause. We are talking Just in Time, which is a group that helps foster kids. And if you know anybody who's ever been in foster care, you know that it is not an easy path to success. And I'm here with uh, several people. Don Wells is here. He's the executive Hi. director. Good morning. Thanks of for Just in Time here is Don. And you are with Rache, right? Yes, that's me. Rache, good morning. And you have brought a couple other folks. Who are those? these guys? Well, Deron Johnson. He's one of our uh, nice. volunteers, and he's going to be actually leading people in some exercises at our JIT Jumpstart event That's next cool. Saturday. Very right. cool. And Zach is one of our participants. And Jack, uh, Zach, 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 I should right. say, yes, uh, was a foster child. Yes. And now transitioning out. Right. And Rache was in was in foster care before, but now she works for Just in Time, and she's the one who's actually organizing the event this Saturday. Well, very good. Then I think we should chat with you. <laughs> good morning to good you. Good morning. So what is what is the idea? First of all, this thing is going to be happening yeah, next Saturday. I believe out yes. at Balboa Park. We'll get the information up in a second. But uh, what is the uh, sort of the the purpose of this? So what we have, we have an initiative called Healthy Practices, and the idea behind it is getting our youth connected in um, learning uh, sexual awareness, uh, mental health awareness, and then even some self care or self care. <laughs> So self care. Yes. So basically, how does this how does this help? Now you were a foster you were in the foster system, yes. Yes. And and tell tell us how this has helped you this sort of group effort. Um. So unfortunately, I actually didn't get to be a part of Just in Time for Foster Youth, so I get to see it on a different side. From the outside looking on in. On the outside yeah. looking in, and it's amazing. I get to see the connections that the youth um, are making with um, the staff and other people within the community, and then also um, the whole self care side be able to learn how to better yourself in a busy world. Yeah, yeah, well, those are great lessons. John, so, uh, what, would you want to talk to Zach? Let's go sure, over and talk to sure. Zach and see how you're doing over here. Zach, good morning. Good morning. How's how are you going? doing, man? Looks like you're a little bit out of breath over there from doing this kind of stuff. No, I'm okay. You're doing all right. <laughs> so so tell us uh, what's going on with you in terms of your life. I guess you were uh, in the foster system and you're now coming out into adulthood and whatnot. That's uh, so what is it that what is it that you need? Like what tools and things do you need to make this transition out? A little bit of hope, some support good net and uh just to believe in yourself and that pushes you to success i think yeah yeah believing in yourself is an important thing isn't it yeah isn't it yeah and uh so how does something like this help you out it gets you physical gets you out there gets your blood pumping it's fun also it's a good workout yeah uh last time we did a thing um with duran we did a uh, fit with jit it was really fun i had a really good time the youth had a really good time i think they'll have a really good time at the event coming up yeah so it'll be a really good opportunity for them to get out and get connected with people all right right which is a whole health fair and young man uh, now cool. that you've captured your breath good morning tell everybody who you are my name is duran johnson Durant. and i'm a volunteer with the healthy practices committee for just in time right and so how do you think when you go through these exercises like this how do you think this helps well it's hard to get physical health you have to get emotional you have to be physically healthy in order to create emotional health so it's like a pyramid and the, the bottom is physical health so to be physically be emotionally connected and healthy and mentally healthy we want to be physically connected and physically healthy good point and that's very important yeah it is very important it is because if you feel good physically oftentimes that will translate into your emotional health and right. your mental health and things like that and so how, how have you seen things how has this helped these kids as as they go been involved well, with this. Just in time, so philosophy is that the young people need resources and they need relationships. So this J, uh, this JIT Jumpstart is really a combination of those two things. There's going to be all kinds of resources for them. There's going to be health screenings, uh, like Rache was saying, and and other things that are going to help them learn things about about self care and about health. But also, we're bringing about 107 participants together for that day. So they're going to get connected to each other. They're going to get connected to other volunteers, yeah. and they. Have a sense of community, and that gives them that sense of belonging and belief in themselves that Zach was talking about. Yeah, how important is that? Oh, it's 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 so important. If if you think about your own children, uh, what what happens with foster youth is that at 18 they're supposed to go out and make their lives work. 
without having those kinds of connections, without right. understanding those those uh, those knowledge gaps that exist for them. So if if you don't have that, then you can't succeed. And even if you get the resources, but you're not connected to other people, it doesn't work. We we don't do well alone. You know, every human beings do better if they're part of a group and a community. So sure. it's it's vital that they have that. Yeah. All right. Well, this is awesome. And so this is one of the things you do. You do right. a lot. You do a lot of other. Tell folks at home what you know what it is you guys do. Well, we we help with basic needs. So if somebody is working and going to school, their car breaks down, they just need two hundred dollars to get the thing fixed, but they don't have that money budgeted because they're just trying to make things work. Yeah. We help them with that. Uh, we do my first home setups. People move into transitional housing, but they don't have a bed. They don't have furniture because they don't have parents who have saved those things for them to get started. Right. People are going to college. They don't have a laptop or a printer or dorm supplies. So we do all those things wow. that a family would do to help them along. Yeah. And we have a financial fitness program where they learn financial literacy and then we match their savings over time so that they start to build some sort of uh, foundation and, and build their credit. So the whole thing is about them becoming more self-sufficient by getting those tools and having those connections and help them have a sense of well-being yeah. so that once they turn 26, because we serve youth from 18 to 26, yeah. once they turn 26, they have a whole community of people that are there to support them then. It's not, about, depending on us, it's eight, nine, or ten volunteers they met, their families, their network, and so they have what every healthy, productive young person has yeah. if they're lucky. Uh, and that is wonderful. And how many, before I let you go, how many foster kids are there? right now do you know in this area we in have San Diego? about 300 or so youth leave foster care every year yeah and uh, you know they, they have various situations that they're in and we serve about 600 youth every year individually with what we're doing but all those youth then become part of our community so even if we're not giving them something they still come back and volunteer yeah half of our staff are former foster youth like Rache yes and we have people on our board youth who are on our board now who started out oh, as yeah. participants. <laughs> They're not youth anymore. They're not, right, exactly. <laughs> well, Don, this is a great thing you're doing, obviously helping these kids, you know. And, yeah, how, how can you even imagine how difficult it can be being raised, you know, bounced around from a family to family to family? It's, it breaks your heart. Right, it, it, but, but there's hope. And there's and, hope and, because and, of guys like you and your group. Well, because these young people are so resilient and they want to do well. And yeah. all we have to do is not push them off the road yeah. and give them a little bit of help yeah. and have them believe that somebody's out there who cares whether or not they're doing well. That's yeah. all it takes. And that is important. Yes. Thank you, Don. All right. Thank you very much. Great to see you. Good to see you again. All right. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much. And we'll see you out there at the fair. It is it's, next uh, Saturday. It's 28th at Balboa Park. Out at Balboa Park. It's, yes. it's your whole fit health fair, right? It'll be great. Yes. There you go. Or just in time is what it is. There you go. All right. Thank you so much. And you, come on back in. Say goodbye. All right. Say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye, everybody. All right. We'll see you guys. Thanks a lot. We'll see you out there next week.